It's John Champion with you today, and alongside me, top analyst Jim Beglin. Well, I think we're very fortunate to be sitting here watching this one, John. I'm really looking forward to what should be a really exciting match. The central characters standing tall for the national anthem. Good form leads to plenty of confidence and hopefully a bright display on the pitch. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. And we're now all set. You're a man of extensive football knowledge, Jim. Any individual performances which are worthy of note? Of course. Antoine Griezmann, he's got a bit of everything, Peter. Speed, great technical ability, and the priceless gift of being able to make all the right decisions at the right times. Personally, I really like the way he can always take a little touch to give himself that half a yard of space. He needs to get a shot away, and he doesn't miss too many either, does he? Dead right. Dembele. Kunde. Fofana. Oh, that's neat. Conte. Nicely done. And he gets it away. Torres. Good strength, just wrestled him off the ball. Just to point out that the fullbacks are quite high. It's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide. Takes a shot. A goal for France. It's a difficult skill to master, but I think we can safely say he's got the hang of it. Yeah, and all engineered by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire, but how about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. Spain have been caught cold early on. Switches play to the other side. Pedri. Spain. Well, the task is obviously a lot tougher and they can't afford to waste time feeling sorry for themselves. The correct response is greater focus and work rate now and especially, especially avoiding another goal. for Fana. Delivery on its way. Thou shalt not pass seems to be the message. Oh, good challenge and he's got it back. Dembele. Morata. Nacho Fernandez. That's a throw. Has it back.
Torres. Switches play to the other side. The cross takes a deflection off the defender, so a corner's given. Jumps for the header. He struck that really cleanly. Marino doing exactly what we expect of him. He had to be super alert then. Dembele. Kunde. Fofana. Morata. Torres. It's got away. Hit forward. The flag stays down. He's tackled in the box. Has to be a penalty. Well, they need to hope for a minor miracle now. No surprise, it's a yellow card. The players are protesting the decision, but the referee is having none of it. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, is he? mistake in drawing them level it was never in doubt you could feel the tension as he stepped up to take that but it didn't bother him and he tucked it away perfectly The game restarts with the scores level again. Yeah, we thought that this one would be close between two strong sides like this, and I think that just goes to prove it. Fofana wins it back. With a big chance. Spreads it out wide. Could get in here. It'll be a throw in. Looking to exploit the space. Pedri. Switched right across. Into the box. Header! Good delivery, but I'm afraid the finish wasn't up to it. Oh, they really wanted that. There's so many players in the box. Everyone's committed to attack now. 